My name is Luís Paes. I'm uh, vice president of a Portuguese uh, higher education institution, okay, a uh, university of uh, applied sciences. And uh, we belong to the UAS NET, uh, and we have been chosen to participate in this uh, sub project of the big project of the EduProf. Uh, our sub project is try to uh, arrange a list of uh, indicators for applied research, okay? So, uh, for us, it's very important because uh, generally we have uh, a list of very common indicators that we feel that are much more indicated for basic research. And sometimes there are uh, some uh, issues and performance that our institutions must do that are devoted to applied research, okay? so. The, the objective is to define a list of these indicators, try to, uh, in a pilot phase, to apply it to the partners' institution that were uh, um, 14, I think so, and try to get the first results and to validate those uh, indicators. So this is the first phase of the project and we feel that uh, it's very important to continue in the second phase, uh, maybe in the second phase of the EduProf project, to uh, get uh, more robust uh, indicators, uh, such of these indicators. These are also not um, far away from other projects uh, that uh, is uh, related to the US, the US SNET and other uh, institutions, that they are the UMAP and the U-multi-rank uh, projects that have not the same but similar uh, objectives that this try to compare uh, institutions and its uh, performances. Okay, so uh, did you like the project and what did you learn? Well, for us I think it's very fruitful because it was uh, uh, a consideration inside my institution before the project. Uh, we try, of course, to enhance the applied research results and, of course, we uh, need always for indicators. Otherwise, let me say that all, all the performance are good and we cannot compare them. So it's, it's very important to compare uh, our institution within the, the national uh, level and also, or more important is that, we, in the international level. So we have a kind of institutions that have the same principles and objectives that are the universities of applied science and are very important to compare just to uh, know what is our results compared to the uh, other European countries. So would you say that you have learned a way to know how good you are? <laughs> well, uh, not, not only that, of course, this is very important because uh, uh, maybe you would, would think that uh, we are very good or we are very bad and uh, comparison is of course uh, very important. We are not precisely uh, talking about a ranking, it's not necessarily a rank, but we are talking about a profile uh, and uh, uh, the effort that the institution do in applied research and what is that results that we can get. So this is uh, uh, very important. But more than that, I think the main results are not only indicators, are those actions that we begin uh, to uh, develop uh, following the uh, discussions on that, this project. For example, try to get uh, some databases to collect data and to disseminate data, which is very important. It's not, it's not to collect for ourselves, it's to show to the society uh, what we do and also to think about new projects and new actions that will enhance the applied research. So this is of course very important and is not only concise with the, uh, these such indicators. Okay, was there any indicator that surprised you? Well, uh, not surprise, but uh, to that show that uh, we must do uh, something else. There are a lot of things to do. Uh, I presented in uh, before, just before that one one uh, thing that we, uh, as universities of, of applied science, must do is to try to design a new peer review uh, system procedure for non-traditional publications for pro uh, pro 
publications relevant to professional fields because otherwise uh, generally they are not too much validated and uh, we uh, have a scenario that is that, that this kind of publications are considered as a second class scientific publication. And this is of course not good and uh, they are the, not the objective of course of that publications and we think that we need uh, for these peer review systems to accreditate and validate this kind of uh, publications.